Good luck. I'm trying to recall exactly what I normally do against this. Last time I got bodied pretty badly. Um, so, if I can remember that at all. Um, I'm still like super indecisive here. But yeah, they're intending bishop five five if I'm not careful. If I do play my silver up, they might play bishop five five anyway. Hmm. Perhaps I made this too interesting. I did study this before, but I need to study it until I can remember it. So this might be another painful experience. Um, like I did look at the moves and try to memorize them, but I never really understood why the Joseki are the Joseki, so I think our opponent's going to give us a lesson today. Uh, thankfully, I think due to the way the rating system is coded, and since I'm not rated 1400, I can't lose more than one point this game. So, there is that. But yeah, I'm concerned about pawn push, pawn takes, bishop move. I was considering Nifu here. Nifu would not be great. Um, so instead, if they push their pawn, maybe I just push 5 4 or 5 6. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's more to think about than I have thought about. I have not done my homework. And you would think given my game history that I would be motivated to do my homework apparently not motivated enough so um, now if I take that they move this bishop and I could advance my silver it could be okay It's just not what I had originally planned. And it's awkward because once, like, if I bring the silver up, it defends the pawn. But if they instead do rook takes, um, I could pawn drop, it's okay. But yeah, against this, my plan is to raise the silver. which is really weird, but I don't see how to counter it. Um, I guess they could pawn drop at the head of my pawn and I could bring my silver up and this could get awkward. But awkward and refuted are two different things. Um, hmm, 
This is so atypical. Not the whole getting in trouble, but this castle that I'm starting to build. It's, um, it's a special castle. So they've blocked their bishops, one of the options for their bishop. Um, okay, let's get this silver out there before it's too late. We are freestyling this. This is going to be exciting. I think perhaps they overpressed. I think what was appropriate was rook takes on 3 6. Um, after which, I guess I pawn drop here, and their rook has an open line, and that's pretty good for them. As opposed to here, I've just stolen a pawn, and I'm now going to start trying to find an attack and I have no idea where I'm castling um, we're living one move at a time here wait so I have made effort to study Yagra before um, this might be the weirdest transition to Yagra ever but yeah and I could play my silver up and then play my golds to like 3, 7, and 4, 8. And <clears throat> I'm sorry, no. The golds would belong here and here, 3, 8, and 4, 7, and my bishop would duck out under. And I am starting to consider pushing the central pawn and bring the bishop out this way. So, yeah, this could be just a super awkward Yagra transition. Um made even more awkward by the fact that I have did a swinging rook and I'm considering bringing it back. But hey, I got a pawn, so let's enjoy that, I guess. Yeah, I don't like my Agra idea. I don't think they like it either. Um... So we are freestyling this. I need just I need to be very careful where my pawns go. Because um, if I split them up too much, defending the holes I leave behind could be fatal. I could also bring my bishop up through the edge file, but that's gonna be kinda weird too. All right, so I don't want to block my center pawn, which would in turn block my bishop. Um, huh. Interesting. So I could attack on the third file now, is what I'm hearing. Um... 
This would give them a pawn in hand at a time I don't want to give them a pawn in hand. Well, I was considering a pawn push on the third file until I saw this move. And now I'm realizing their generals are on the first rank. A first rank general cannot defend a pawn on the fourth rank. So this defense is going to require them to move the rook, and moving the rook exposes the silver. So, um, lots of stuff going on here. On the other hand, uh, if my silver's in the center of the board, it can't really hit this pawn. Um, Maybe they're considering a sack, because, I don't know, my, this side of the board is kind of fragile. But yeah, I might go back and consider just pushing this pawn and then bringing the rook over to hit that. Because uh, this does give them a pawn in hand, but my rook on the central rank here, the fifth rank of the board, covers a lot of squares. And I well, no, their bishop can attack that pretty easily, actually. So that's not super bright. Um... So if I were crazy, I would break the third file open right now. I am kind of crazy. How crazy am I? My king has no haven. Where the hell am I castling? I've pushed all my pawns. And I still don't have a great castle. Do I need to castle? Usually I do, but... Um... This is just awkward. And if I'm playing connected golds as a castle, like, the idea there is you're not supposed to push all the pawns, and I've kind of done that. So this is not great. Um... I think this is an experiment not worth repeating. <laughs> that next time I should try to build a more solid castle and not get into this strange situation. Although this time it is fairly amusing. But probably not worth repeating. The reason this is amusing is because they don't have a pawn in hand, and as soon as I give them that, like, this becomes problematic. But it's also difficult to avoid forever uh, the possibility of a pawn exchange. <laughs> so yeah, here I'm anticipating a third file buildup, but could also push the fourth file pawn. Okay.
I thought I had a counter for this. Um, maybe I don't. Well, that knight's, okay, its object is to block this um, diagonal that my bishop's on. If I push this pawn, they push this pawn, and then they push it again, and then I'm forced to take. So pushing the pawn to discourage the knight from moving is not right. Um, Okay, my bishop springs to life in this extremely awkward position. This does kind of numb my silver a bit, but what can I do? Uh, my plan here was to bring my silver forward toward the bishop. Um, I think that's still my plan. This is awkward. And yes, they do optionally have the possibility of taking this pawn. But is that really their plan? Because I didn't think this rook is going to move. This rook's defending a piece. And um, this knight, again, seems to be just a little too aggressive. I think if they take the pawn, I could drop a pawn here to slow their attack. If knight takes, knight takes, and what? Bishop takes silver? Maybe, I don't know, maybe they will sack this bishop for a silver to try to speed up an attack. Um, everything is very much up in the air at the moment. Okay, so they defend their silver, which reinforces their attack on this pawn. Um, I could attack their knight, which has... I mean, it could take my pawn. But other than that, it doesn't have a great space to go to. Um, hmm... Man, I wanted to break on this third file. I didn't want things to come to this. Um, but I may have to change course to protect this guy.
I don't think climbing this silver here adequately protects this pawn because they attack my silver and I have to keep charging forward. I could push this pawn. Uh, and then they might sack to take the silver out. They might do that anyway. And then, like, well, I've got all these drop squares covered already. Alright, we are going to transition the king to the left. <sighs> this rook just keeps switching back and forth. It can't make up its mind where it belongs, but each time I profit from moving the rook, so can it really be that bad? If their king can go to the left, surely my king can go to the left, right? This has got to be okay. I hope. So, like many games, I brought my knight out early and then not found a good square for it. Um, so I can kind of relate to what uh, my opponent's facing at the moment. I so want to attack here. I've got so many pieces active. And by that I mean two silvers and one bishop are actually doing something. Um, but yeah, my king is like not super happy. So let's make some effort to get my king to something resembling safety. Maybe king straight forward to 5-8 was safer. It's strange to say that, but... Um, especially because that leaves the possibility of a king-rook fork, or king... Yeah, either from a knight or eventually a silver. But um, maybe that would have been okay. Regardless, in the center, my king's a sitting duck, so anything's... Anything other than leaving the king on 5-9 seems appropriate. Although, tucking it away on 2-8 here seems like asking for trouble between the bishop and the rook, so to the left seems safer somehow. Okay, my opponent has a pawn. I didn't think they would seriously do that. Um, well, if I don't take, they're just going to take another pawn. And this is a good square for my silver anyway. Right. So this cuts off my rook's defense of this pawn. Okay. 
my rook does not have a ton of great squares it can move to, so let's do this. Um, okay. So as much as I would love to bring my rook forward and see what kind of mayhem I could induce, like, this seems safer. Yes, my opponent has a knight, but no, my opponent cannot defend this pawn or that pawn. So, yeah, they start attacking. Unfortunately for them, this just immediately walks into a fork. So I can give my opponent a second knight see if they can produce anything good from it but um, okay this walks into potentially another king rook fork so be careful I could use this bishop um, I'm divided between do I just move my bishop to 5-5 five five or do I drop a bishop on 5-5? Five five? Um, there aren't a lot of good bishop drops on my opponent's side of the board. A knight on 5-5 five is not bad either. Although, I don't see if, well, there are ideas, but nothing convincing. I could take the pawn, but this seems wimping out, so... Um, hmm. Yeah, moving the bishop to 5-5 five five could be useful. I s well, my potential ideas for getting a horse don't quite work. Um, Okay, we're going to develop this bishop to 5-5. Five, five. And the reason to move this instead of placing a bishop is because my other bishop also belongs on the same diagonal. Like, this is a really hard castle. I don't have a great way to break it. But I could break something on the other flank here. I could exchange a bishop for two pieces. And plus I can avoid eventually a knight forking my king and bishop back here so this seems like the safer way to go I did somewhat anticipate this. Um, 
gives me a couple ideas. This isn't as clear cut as I thought. Okay, back I retreat. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm retreating, but it actually makes sense. So we're doing it. Right, and I can retreat again and again. That's fine. I've got time on my side. If they push this pawn twice, I just win their rook. So I'm not super afraid of that. But yeah, when I say I have time on my side, like this pawn's gonna get pushed twice and then just win a knight. So this is the war of who can get their king into the stranger position. Um, yeah, what a crazy game where neither of our rooks does anything. Okay. Hmm. Shogi pieces are such strange animals. Like, you would think that him threatening to take my pawn with the knight would, could be scary. Or that even pawn takes pawn could be scary. But not really. Um, instead, these knights are stuck in defensive postures. I mean, if this knight does come forward, my king just runs away. I've avoided all manners of exchanges which could let him attack me more easily, so... His attack does run out, and it becomes my turn. Um, I guess he could threaten to promote the knight over here. I do need to exercise some caution and actually be a bit afraid. Okay. Yeah, that was an interesting game. Um... So the object in the teaching ladder is to play interesting games. Yeah. Good game. Uh, to play interesting games and to do post-game analysis uh, after each game. Um, yeah, this is uh, definitely a different tone from last week. Um, so, yeah, I got greedy in the opening and stole a pawn. <laughs> uh, I remember other games uh, when F-U-G-I-R-E unable to get pawn in hand happened to me. Uh, so yeah, this... Um, this got pretty wild pretty quickly. Um, I think I messed up already, but now I think I'm okay because I can defend this. Um, 
So I wonder about this. No. I guess I do something like that and I don't know. Either way, by here, I think I survived the opening. Um, although, castling will be awkward since I can't Mino. Um, yeah, this is special. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely survived the opening. So I think we're both learning this a bit together. Um, uh, so I suppose next time I'll need to play uh, a different Joseki because. Uh, Allowing this seems awkward for me. Um, yeah. But I don't know. Theory is always uh, changing anyway. Um, Um, but yeah, by here, uh, I've definitely survived the opening and need to like play Yagra or something. I guess here maybe uh, uh, well me too I didn't know what castle to build <laughs> uh, uh, yeah I've this happened to me as well. I really don't know what to make of it other than like unfortunately you still can't get a pawn in hand. Yeah. So I think this is just something that's easily overlooked um, I don't really know wait okay so this is how the game proceeded right yeah oh hmm. I delayed the silver advance because I haven't castled. But maybe I could... Uh, ah, could have chased the uh, pawn. Yeah, I don't know. Also, somehow I thought I would get an active rook. Yeah, I guess we could take a look at it. This is kind of interesting. So, there's no way to defend this pawn. Um, what was I so concerned about? Oh, this thing. Um, hmm. Yeah, what do I do about that rook?
I don't know what to do about the rook. Here I want to push my pawn like this thing here. Um, so like if I do, I don't know, something like this. Uh, this is kind of awkward. I'm unsure how to continue. Uh, hmm. I guess maybe this, but then that. Yeah, I don't know. It's almost a free pawn, but not quite. I guess if I defend this, how do they attack it again? Um, well, no, there's just this. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think you uh, would have found it from necessity. Yeah, because like once you're in that dire position, you're like, okay, how do I, how do I like deal with this stuff? Yeah. <laughs> um. So what else is there? I don't know. Oh yes, I just delayed. Either way, I need to find some castle for my king before things uh, get exchanged. I don't even know what things getting exchanged entails. Lot, lots and lots of exchanges are possible. If they had a pawn in hand, like, that would win my knight and my lance. So, yeah, I need, well, if I block my rook, that would win my knight and lance. Um, right, so I put pressure, I expose my bishop so it can do something useful this game. Uh... Uh, a couple weeks ago, someone did this bishop exposure to me. Yeah. Yeah, so jumping the knight without a follow-up was problematic. I mean, what do you do? Yeah, I guess that's fine, but like here I do that then, right? Maybe. Um, but now the knight's uh, unable to, well, okay, yeah, no, you're right, you still have this. Um, So, eventually I'm intending a pawn drop on the silver's head. Um, we could change up the move order, I guess. Oh, that's probably it, yeah. Yeah, so instead of all of this, maybe just that directly. So. 
so I do do this and they have to concern themselves a bit with my pawn drop threats but those are easily re enough refuted easily enough to refute um, so um, okay yeah that also deals with my threat um, I don't wish I had something clever I don't have something clever there Ah, this is tricky. Shogi is so hard. Yeah, no, you're right. Oops, I can't do that. Just kidding. Um, so the problem is I can promote someday, someone, somewhere. Um, man, I wish I had some cool attack here. I guess I start running with my king or something like that. Okay, and now if the knight moves... Well, wait, I don't want to push that if I don't have to. Each time I push that, it wastes a move. So yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, there must be some attack that I don't see, right? Yeah, I wonder what else the attack could be. I wonder what else there is. Obviously, uh, go to good castle before attacking. Uh, but it wouldn't uh, be a rapid attack then. Um, yeah, so this has some merit, too. Well, I don't know. Shog uh, Shogi is complex. Yeah, maybe you do this. Maybe it's okay to let me have a thing if you get a thing. I have no idea. I always castle to the right. So this is pretty awkward. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, maybe it's fine. Who knows? Uh, maybe, I guess. I really don't know. So, like, you're threatening this. Um,. Or maybe even threatening this. Uh, I have more material. Um,
how do I stop all these attacks? Uh, there's just a lot to think about. My king is exposed and my bishop and rook are sitting. Like, this is not ideal. Um, I guess maybe I take the lance here. And maybe this. Uh, I, I have no idea. Probably there's something else too. But yeah, this is not easy for me to deal with. Uh, so this all started with this idea. Maybe, uh, yeah, this is hard. <laughs> so what happened in the game? Um, this knight move. Yeah. Maybe just like this sort of thing. Um, I don't know. I think you have time to castle. Um, I do too, but I don't know how to here. Um, like, I'm considering stuff like this, I guess. Um, but, like, this is slow. Oh, you're still afraid of this silver advance. Okay. Um, I wonder. Oh, you really think... Oh, wow. But, yeah, no, that's an idea. Just seems like it's walking straight into the line of fire of these pieces, like... I don't know what the idea there would be. Um, but maybe it's fine. Shogi is a complex game. Uh, I guess. So he wants me to refute this. I don't know how to refute it. Um, oh wait, wait a second. Oops, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I do need to counter this somehow. Um, yeah, that's a problem. Dang, that's a pretty real problem. Yeah, what do you do about that? Um, so, I mean, while there is this, um, hmm. So 
I don't know that I can push this. Yeah, I am confused. Um, because, like, there's this idea. Ah, <sighs> my attack uh, should work, but I don't see how it does. It's just some travesty that somehow this just falls apart in a terrible way. And worse still, I've not castled yet. Um, so if we take here, then what? Oh, I guess my yeah, after this capture, I guess I am threatening to push again. Hmm. So I guess this is necessary. Uh, so that should be scary. I don't know if it is. I'm trying to build some sort of castle for their king in the midst of this mayhem. Um, and if this does go south, then like I haven't castled at all, as opposed to they've made an attempt, but it's not completely successful just yet, but I think it can be. And I don't think that my attack can... Somehow this seems to refute my attack. Just barely. By the narrowest of margins. Um, yeah, castling right still seems dangerous for me. As does castling left. <laughs> uh, I guess we could try this here. I'm not sure that my king is actually safe. Um, Okay, where does this knight go? I don't know. Sure, I still have pawns in hand, but uh, this seems complex. Because, like, for one thing, I can only place the pawns on the one file, and even on that file, well, uh, for now it is, yeah. Uh, well, let's not forget my bishop, too. But yeah, yours is also trapped. Um, yeah, I think um, my third... Well, yeah, I think my attack here slows down. And whatever castle I build uh, is going to be a bit shaky. Although I do have two pawns, which are kind of nice. Yeah, you did a lot of panicking. <laughs> um, it's hard to read this stuff out. 
I've had practice reading from all these games I'm playing. Because I always get in trouble. Um, but let's see, this Pawn 8 4 was my suggestion. Hmm. So, wait, how. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for the reminder that I need to better study this stuff. <laughs> Uh, where was it? Uh, this here. <laughs> um, I'm not sure toward the end what else there was. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, my attack is out of control here. Uh, good game. <laughs> that was such a weird game. Because, like, neither of us castled, but still the game got decided. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is why I moved my bishop. Uh, where was it? Where? Er, somewhere here I moved it. Did I not? I, uh, I also considered this, um, but then saw the fork. Um, um, so yeah, that was interesting. The larger part of your wins, uh, as opponents exaggerating or overreacting well I mean at a Q level what can we expect right <laughs> thanks yeah this was refreshing because I uh, usually panic <laughs> so yeah this is this is good it's good to have a change in pace here uh, where I, the last few games I've actually like panicked a lot less. This has been quite good. <laughs> good luck. Yeah, it's not easy. Yeah, I passed a few games. I've calmed down uh, quite a bit, so this is pretty cool. But might also involve some opening accidents where I somehow am just escaping the opening barely alive. Um, so maybe some of my calm is related to the opening and just getting lucky that opponents aren't finding all the best moves. Yeah, I don't know. Finding all the best moves, finding all the Joseki lines in the midst of a game that lasts less than an hour is pretty hard. Yeah, I keep uh, joining tournaments. Uh, lately, I joined Supernova and Shogi Hall. They've been fun. So, I know like some other people run their own tournaments, but um, there's nothing like the real deal done with the real tournament manager on the real site like yeah the hard part is having to schedule the games for the supernova in the morning or the evening but that's going to be over soon i forget when the next supernova is going to be um joined a lot of terms we started a few weeks ago <laughs> yeah i gradually ramped up so, yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, hopefully things work out. Yeah, I'm finding my sweet spot, which I think seems to be um, doing one the tourney to show it on and up to three other tournaments at once. 
if one of those other tournaments is the supernova where you have all month to get all the games played and like half the games don't get played anyway um yeah oh yeah you have to make time for this thing <laughs> ah, good to have a routine are you team there we go with an r not a t all right um thanks uh let's see i don't have a whole lot more to write there we might look at a few more moves see you next week <laughs> yeah i mean we're gonna get paired it's gonna happen <laughs> We always get paired, but it's a good pairing. Uh, yeah, so I need to go on play shogi sometime after I'm done coding and study this thing a bit more. I'm pretty sure I've seen this before, and I've even tried playing this before. Um, what I've not seen before, and what had me sweating a ton this game, was the bishop 5-5 five five move. But uh just grabbing the pawn and trying to keep a calm composure about things trying not to overreact like here there are so many ways i could overreact i could push the silver up i could push this pawn up i could push this pawn and i kept looking at these things i'm like you know each one of these things has a problem like if i push this now suddenly i have a weakness and i've not castled and this is not great. Oh, I could, like, make up for that by making another weakness. I'm like, wait, this is getting very much out of control. There's got to be something else I can do. If I push this, the bishop exchange happens, and, like, um, it becomes difficult to defend. I don't even know what the threats are at this point. But, uh, I guess one threat would be this. Yeah, I guess one threat is enough. Um, so yeah, this is not great. And if I defend my lance in the corner this way, there's this obvious follow-up, so that's not super great either. So yeah, this idea is not the best. Uh, this just, again, I'm making weaknesses and not developing my pieces. So um, I sat there, I'm like, well, what is my opponent threatening? At the moment, they're still working on building a threat. They do have this one, two, three move idea. That takes three moves. So I'm like, you know what else takes three moves? One, two, three. And supposing that in one of these moves in the series, we end up with something like that. Well, so yeah, I thought this was a good way to counter uh, and them trying to keep this bishop on the long diagonal, I think, is a good idea. It's just unfortunate that in the game, um, they panicked a bit more than I panicked. It's like, yeah, I wanted to prevent this knight from moving, I wanted to block this diagonal. There's a lot of stuff I wanted to do. But one thing I keep forgetting to do, and this game I remembered, is that I like to use my bishop. If I use the bishop, good things can happen. Um... Yeah, this is just mistimed. I think if they'd taken time to castle instead of fully committing to a rapid attack, um, this could have been a really complex game. I would have had to castle. I don't want to castle into their attack, so I would have had to try Yagura. And I don't really know it. Um, I mean, I guess the idea is, like, I push this here, bring this bishop back and around, put the king over... Stuff like that. This rook probably goes here or something. Um, so, yeah, I would have to try to figure that out. Get my generals up here somewhere. So the idea is, like, build this sort of thing with the rook over there. And my bishop out. So, um, that could have been tricky. But we didn't get to face that today. Like I said, we'll probably get paired again some other week, and we'll see what more third file stuff uh, can be cooked up against me. Hopefully I'll be better prepared for it next time. Um, because, yeah, I think 
I've played this before. And I'm like, well, why can't I just do silver up and try to Mino? Um, I think we know the answer now is that regardless of where this goes, uh, this is threatened. And um, like if I just do nothing here, uh, where is where is my do nothing move? If I do nothing, I'm forced with the decision of do I break my Mino? If, if I'm going to break my Mino, I might as well break it earlier. Or am I going to, like, subject myself to this? And this is terrible. So, um, so yeah, that's why in the game um, I end up taking here. But if I'm going to take there, then maybe my silver belongs here instead. And maybe I should build this castle, even though it's kind of awkward. Uh, alternatively, maybe I should study this a bit more. I don't know. There's so much to study and so little time, but maybe sometime I'll take a break from coding and do a bit more opening Joseki study. Anyhow, yeah, thanks uh, for the game, and we'll see you next time.